Good morning and welcome to day two of my North East 250 trip. I've woken up in the stunning Cullen Bay Hotel. If you missed part one, you've got to go and check it out. The view from here is phenomenal. Like, could you imagine waking up to a more beautiful view than this? And I am a little bit gutted to be leaving this place behind. But never mind. Had a stunning, stunning night's sleep in this bed here. Beautiful views, stunning sunset, couldn't have asked for more. I am off now to Port Soy to meet a local who knows a lot about the village. He's going to show me around all the different tourist attractions and all the different places that are a must visit. And of course, I'm going to take you all with me and we'll enjoy it when we get there. So excited for this. Day two, here we come. Genuinely very sad to be saying goodbye to the Cullen Bay Hotel. I had a great night there last night, but my Cullen trip isn't over because tonight I'm hopefully coming back to meet the Cullen Sea School and to row in one of their skiffs out here where the stunning view was. So I'm super excited for that. But next stop, Port Soy. Hello and welcome to Port Soy. Many of you may recognise this old harbour behind me. That is because it featured in the film Whiskey Galore. It was also in a tenant's larger advert as well. This place has so much to offer and I can't wait to take you around this town and show you the history of this fishing community and exactly what this stunning place has to offer. Now a major thing that happens in Port Soy every year is the Port Soy Boat Festival. I went last year and it was amazing. I would highly, highly recommend it. This year it's happening on the 22nd and 23rd of June and this whole town and coastal area is completely transformed. It's full of stalls, full of history, full of heritage. It is a weekend not to be missed. So Port Soy is a place full of history and heritage and behind me we have got the old Summon Bothy, the original building that still has the ice house and everything inside of it. It is now a museum where you can all where you can learn all about the fishing history of Port Soy and there's also going to be a new exhibition open in June telling you all about the geology and the wildlife that surround this area. And these poles around me here are where they used to dry out the nets back in the fishing days. place is absolutely insane. If you're looking for luxury accommodation but on a budget, the sail loft is definitely the place for you. Let me show you a tour of inside. It is so beautiful and my goodness, it even has a hot tub. If you're looking for something different to do on your North East 250 route, the boat shed in Port Soy is definitely the place for you. You can book yourself in for yourself and your kids to make your own boat within a week that you can take home with you. There's also the chance to see some of the traditional ways that they built the boats in there. And if you go to the boat festival, they're gonna be auctioning off a boat that you could win just by buying a raffle ticket for one pound. Imagine that, you could own your own boat, rowing boat, for a harbour for just one pound. That is amazing. Now 
Now no trip to Port Soy would be complete without stopping off at the Port Soy ice cream shop. I'm so excited for this because their ice creams are so, so tasty. That's the end of my Port Soy adventure. What a town that is. It's got so much history and heritage, which is one thing I'm loving about this Northeast 250 trip. I'm learning that every single town and village along this coastline between Fraserburgh and Spey Bay, it's all got its own stories and it's all got some really interesting history and things that it's been involved with in the past, which is really, really fascinating to learn and to see how each town and village differs from each other in their own unique ways. And it was also great when I was there to sample some things that you can enjoy now from the Port Soy ice cream shop to that beautiful beautiful bunkhouse that you can stay in as well there's just so much to enjoy on this coastline I'm absolutely loving it and I have just come back to Banff where I was yesterday but this time I'm coming here to the Banff Springs Hotel to sample some of their lunch menu and I believe I am having lunch with a view in their restaurants I'm super excited to see this and to enjoy yet again some more tasty food along this beautiful beautiful driving route <laughs> me fed and watered I am full what a lovely lunch there and another place with a stunning coastal view wow the weather this weekend is incredible I am now heading back in the Cullen direction gonna bypass through Cullen though because I'm going to Spey Bay to the whale and dolphin center to learn more about the wildlife and the marine life that live in the seas around the Murray Firth and after that I'm heading to some other little coastal villages and a very famous sea stack so I'll see you all when I get there So one thing I haven't really mentioned on this trip yet is the stunning locations that it has to offer for landscape photography. Now, Finlater Castle that I was at yesterday, Crivy, Pennon, all those areas, fantastic for landscape photography, as is Port Soy where I was this morning. But probably the most famous place on the Northeast 250 for landscape photography is of course Bow Fiddle Rock. It's on everybody's bucket list and it is right here between Fraserburgh and Spey Bay on the Northeast 250 and of course is well worth visiting and well worth photographing. mid-afternoon hot chocolate you cannot beat it there's this amazing cart here down at the at the Cullen Beach it's open every weekend or during school holidays and it has fantastic coffee as well as some luxury hot chocolate and local bakes and all that it is fantastic and it's right on the beach front underneath the famous viaduct here at Cullen and my gosh this is so so tasty coffee at the Kings you have to stop by and you have to try it now arrived in Spey Bay, which is home to the Whale and Dolphin Centre, as well as the largest ice house in the UK. I'm going to go for a quick tour of that, show you around this place, but this is a fantastic place to come. If you want to learn about the wildlife in the Murray Firth, especially whales and dolphins, if you want to buy some eco-friendly gifts, if you want somewhere to take your kids, if you want to go for a beautiful walk, there's some stunning walks around here up the River Spey towards the Garmouth Viaduct, which I'm not going to make it to today, but I have filmed the video there in the past. 
if you're interested in checking that out and it's just a great place an absolutely great place and there's also a cafe here so no matter what your interests are there's something here for everyone let's go inside and see it and I'll show you exactly what it's got on offer time before I'm going rowing with the Cullen Sea School so I've popped down to Port Gordon which is only a few minutes drive from Spey Bay and this spot is very famous for seeing seals and right now there's quite a lot of seals out on the rocks as well as quite a few in the sea so if you're into wildlife and wildlife spotting and seeing wildlife in the wild this is a great place to see seals and just sit and enjoy it you can see them from your car or you can go out and, and look at them from the shore obviously don't approach them they are wild animals they should not be disturbed but great place to see them great place to admire them and a great place to connect with the sea and the the marine life that we've got out there in the Murray Firth stunning view <laughs> A great day it's been. I have just been out in Cullen on the sea rowing with the Cullen Sea School and I also got to go on a rib as well which was great fun. What I thought was a great way, a great way to finish off this campaign is to go up to the castle on the hill. Yes Ed Sheeran fans there's a castle on the hill in Cullen to show you exactly where I've been today and also to give you panoramic views of this beautiful village. At the end of our North East 250 route. I've had a great time exploring Fraser Brat to Spey Bay and I can't think of a better place to finish off this video than up here. The view is stunning. Let me show you exactly where I've been today as well. This is a great, great vantage point for this. Over there we've got the Cullen Bay Hotel that I stayed at last night and you would have seen at the start of this video. Waking up to the stunning views over there of the beach down there where those rocks are that's where I was this afternoon when I had coffee at the Kings great place you've got to stop off there if you're passing over here we've got the harbour that's where I've just been out rowing with the Cullen Sea School great experience and they also do so many other things you can learn how to sail you can go on paddle boards you can uh, rent out canoes kayaks all those kind of things great great place then heading over here, we've got Port, well you can't see it, but over this hill is the next town of Port Soy, where I was this morning. Over there, about 15-20 minutes down the road, you've got Spey Bay, 
And also, just for reference, just 10 minutes down the road that way as well, you've got Finlatter Castle that I was at yesterday. This is a great place, a great place to finish off this route and this trip that I have had this weekend. I've had a great time and I want to say a huge thank you to North East 250 and Visit Scotland for inviting me along to do this with the guys over at Scotlanders. We are all very passionate about Scotland, very passionate about Scottish tourism and we think we live in a very, very beautiful country, which of course we do. I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for watching and for those of you who have followed along on this campaign. I hope you feel inspired to come and do the North East 250. If you've ever done it before or been to any of the places that feature in my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd like to come and do the North East 250 and you've got any questions or you just want to let me know that you're coming, again, let me know in the comments. It's been great. It's now time for me to get in the car and head back home. I'll hopefully see you all again next time when I'm going to be back to my usual videos, roundups from my photography workshops and all that jazz. I'll see you all again then. I'm just going to embrace this view, enjoy my final few minutes of this stunning driving route in the northeast of Scotland.